Today's math strategy video is on dividing whole numbers. So our strategy that we're going to look at today is partial quotients. And you probably may think this is familiar because we did talk about partial products when we were multiplying. This is the same kind of concept except for what we're going to be finding are quotients instead of products. So here I have my problem, and it's the same one that we had in the previous video when we were doing the area model. And you're going to see that that area model is also very similar to this partial quotient strategy. So I have the problem 2,125 divided by 4. So the very first thing that I'm going to do, let me use purple today. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do all of my facts that I already know because I'm going to use these as a jumping off point. So 4 times 1,000, 4 times 100, and 4 times 10. So once again, for this 1,000, it just like in before in the area model, this is too much. So because I get 4,000 and that is a greater number than our dividend here, which is 2,125. So I'm going to use 100. Now I can just put 100 up here and I can keep subtracting, but I know that 400, I can get maybe a little closer and all I'm going to do is just add. 400 plus 400 is 800. That is pretty close to 1,000. And if I multiply 4 times 200, that gets me 800. So I am going to uh, put 200 up here because that is my answer. It's what I'm multiplying by. And then I'm going to put 800 down here. So what I have left, I'm just going to subtract 21 minus 8 would be 13, okay? And so now I'm going to divide 1,325 by 4. Well, I'm just going to do that same thing again. I'm going to do 200 again. I'm going to multiply and put it down here, and I'm going to subtract. Uh, that would be 13 minus 8 is 5, 500. Um, 525. Now I know that I can't, I, I need to like rethink. I can't use 200 anymore because it's going to be too much. So I'm going to use 100. And I get 400, which is 125. Now, four times something, I am pretty sure that it can get me 120 because I know that four times something is 12. So let's see. 4 times 30. 4 times 3 is 12, so 4 times 30 has to be 120. So I'm just relying on multiplication facts that I already do know. So that gives me 120 with 5 left over. Um, I know that I can use a 1. 1 times 4 is 4, and I have a remainder, and I'm going to add these up. That is 531 with a remainder 1. So you can see that I've used these partial quotients here, and I'm getting pretty close to that regular algorithm, but I'm just writing my numbers out, and I'm subtracting as I go, in, as I go through this process, um, and I'm relying on multiplication facts that I already know. So that is the end of today's video on partial quotients.